The clatter, boom, crash and roar of city life for most of us is just background noise. But to those who live on busy roads, near construction sites or under flight paths, it's sometimes simply unbearable and complaints end up in court. But the judge needs to know if the noise was just a nuisance or legally unacceptable, so the noise needs to be monitored. Some authorities have permanent noise monitors in place, like this one near Sydney Airport. The microphone's measurements have to be absolutely correct, and Australia's science agency, CSIRO, make sure that they are. The microphone is placed in what's called an anechoic chamber, or echo-free chamber, then subjected to a series of sounds. When we're testing this device, we need to have sound which is coming from one direction only and it's coming from the source towards this microphone and the microphone is picking it up. The sounds begin at a very low frequency before increasing to a glass shattering pitch above most hearing. The importance of what we do is to reassure the customer, in this case uh, they're it's the airport noise monitoring authorities, that the microphones that they're using respond correctly to all of the frequencies, that they're not faulty and that their performance is uh, adequate to their specifications. It won't stop the noise, but it does provide a sound basis to help manage an increasingly noisier world. 